Join us at the Prump Nugget Hotel and Casino with the number one gaming experience and entertainment. The Prump Nugget has the number one dining experience at Stockman Steakhouse, Golden Harvest Cafe, and the Gold Miners Buffet. Come get your game on at the Prump Nugget Hotel and Casino. This portion of the news is brought to you by Children's Dentistry of Pahrump, specializing in sedation dentistry, now accepting adult patients. Call now for free IV sedation with dental implant, 751-2184. Autism is the fastest growing developmental disability in the U.S. Researchers thought of it as a lifelong disorder, but that might not be the case. Andrew McIntosh tells us what has many change in the way they think about autism. This health tip is brought to you by Humana. Visit our local office in the Prump Valley Junction Shopping Center or call 775-727-0871. Jack's mom, Leslie, knew something was different about her son. He wasn't making a lot of eye contact. He didn't have any words. Jack has autism. Leslie says daily therapy sessions have made all the difference for him. Do you like to eat? Hey, I like to eat french fries. He seems like he is more aware of us being in his world. Not He's not in his own little world anymore. While Jack has shown big improvements, a new study suggests some kids may actually outgrow the disorder. Researchers looked at 34 patients with autism who were diagnosed by age 5, but now appear to function normally. The study found they no longer meet the criteria for autism. In fact, in tests looking at socialization and communication, the autism patients performed just as well as typical children. Now I can tell them there is a chance that your kid might outgrow it. Dr. Chalky Corey says he's encouraged by the new study, even though the research did not examine why the patients seem to outgrow the disorder. Well, how do you outgrow biting your nails? You learn not to bite them. So outgrowing a behavioral problem is basically learning a different behavior. That takes over. Some believe it's the intensive therapies that cause dramatic improvements. Others think the kids may be on a different part of the autism spectrum that predisposes them to outgrow the condition without therapy. Swing and swing. Leslie hopes with therapy, Jack will swing into even bigger improvements and possibly outgrow his autism. Every parent, I think, hopes the diagnosis will fall off. I'm Andrew McIntosh reporting. Researchers are now analyzing data to see if there's a link between certain types of therapy and optimal outcomes. Based on previous studies, some believe between 10 and 20 percent of children who are diagnosed with autism may achieve some optimal outcomes. Well, one of the perks of being a member of the Pahrump Valley Chamber of Commerce is showing off your stuff at the annual Biz Expo. This two-day event was held at the Pahrump Nugget with over 70 vendors participating. We're here at the 15th annual Prump Valley Chamber of Commerce Biz Expo. I'm here with Mike Dreyer. Mike, tell me all about this weekend. I know Friday and Saturday the expo is going on here at the Prump Nugget. Tell me about it. All right, well, this is day two, Saturday. Um, yesterday the event went from 9 or 12 a.m. till 6 p.m. We had a very good turnout yesterday. I mean, to the point where most of the vendors had to go back out tonight and get more stuff to put out on their tables for today. Uh, generally, Saturdays are better because you get a lot more families involved. So today's just been a wonderful turnout. Over 70 vendors right here in one location. How does this help the Chamber of Commerce, the businesses here in the town of Prom? Well, our job is to support the to support our members. So this is a great opportunity for us to get 70 businesses in this community together. So there may be a business here that you as a consumer didn't know existed, but became you come you because you came to look at another business, you got to find out about them. And all their services too as well, right? That's correct. I mean, we have the chamber has so many businesses, almost almost 470. So we can't represent them all here because it's basically first come first serve. But the 70 that are here are getting plenty of value. Up and down the hallway as well as inside the expo room here too. This event has been going strong every year. Are you seeing a difference between last year and this year at all? I think um, the participation this year, as far as consumers. And the, and the people of the public has been uh, much stronger than it was last year. I think people are getting out a little bit more. They got maybe a little bit more money in their pocket, and they want to find out what services are available. Do you think that the general public knows when they need to uh, find out about services, find out about reputable uh, uh, businesses here in town that they have this chamber of commerce here accessible as a resource to find out? 
We've been really trying to work on that, especially through our shop local program. So we, we field a lot of calls at the chamber for people looking for uh, specific businesses. And then we're now handing out our magazine, which has all the businesses that we represent in it. So we have 20,000 of those that go out to the public, go out to the RV parks, the hotels. So a lot of the citizens in this community now have a, a, a way to find out what businesses are here. And that's important, isn't it? Finding out that uh, businesses, services, and goods are available here instead of traveling elsewhere. Well, it's very important to us because if, if you don't, as a consumer, support the local businesses, you're not going to have that service available and you're going to have no choice but to go over the hill. And that directly affects our economy, doesn't it? It does. I mean, because it's not just short term. You have to look at if you have somebody employing 10 people and then nobody goes to their store and they're down to five people, and then those five people aren't buying houses, you're not putting a tax base to the community, then certain things suffer like fire department, sheriff's department, things that you don't see long term. Yeah. Um, as far as becoming a Prompt Valley Chamber of Commerce member, can, uh, can you tell all about that? Yeah, if, you want, if you're interested in uh, learning more about the Prompt Valley Chamber of Commerce, you can call our office at 727-5800 or you can call me direct at 775-209-4238. My phone's on 24 hours a day and I'd love to chat with you. You guys have lots of services including uh, those wonderful blast emails, mixers, luncheons and everything for businesses to reach out to the community, the members and the citizens to find out, uh, let them know about your businesses. Well, yeah, we, we have affordable advertising. We put a newsletter that goes out every month, uh, which is nice because if you, you supply us with 500 flyers, we'll put them out to 500 businesses for $35. There you go. Oh, well, here we are here at the Prump Nugget for the Prump Valley Chamber of Commerce Business Expo, which was a huge success. I want to say uh, thank you so much to Mike Dreyer and to the Prump Valley Chamber of Commerce. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. And Pahrump celebrated Earth Day on Saturday at Ian Deutsch Memorial Park. The park was filled with lots of vendors and information and demonstrations all geared up to save the planet. Here at Ian Deutsch Memorial Park was the annual Earth Day event. We're going to speak to John Pollock. Well, we had so many people here uh, today from different people, the different venues and stuff. Um, this event is for what purpose? It's to teach us uh, about the environment, how to recycle, renew, and all the, all the, the, the three R's and uh, reuse, that's the other one. But uh, this is a, is a great venue in the park over here at Ian Deutsch Memorial Park. It's green, which we're all about. So we, we passed out a lot of uh, uh, reusable bags and a lot of information about the water issues in this, in this valley, about where the water has been going down and where it's been coming up. So we had maps out there for the people to see themselves. And I was uh, teaching people how to cook with the uh, uh, solar power. Yeah. Uh, we have three solar ovens out there. And a lot of people thought they were unique and they asked them how to get them. And so maybe more people will be using them rather than heating up their houses and wasting uh, the electricity for the air conditioning in the summertime. When you are booking people to be at this event, you're looking for people who are um, showing energy saving kind of green products, right? Exactly, yeah. Uh, uh, being green, because we, a couple of years ago, we had the CFLs, the compact fluorescent lamps. We, we, we hundreds of them we, we brought out there. How to save the energy. Uh, people who have uh, that in, in, the, in their background are more than welcome to come here. So what do you hear mostly from the public on events like this? It's, it's, it's heartening. You know, they like more of uh, things like this, but it, it takes a lot of work, and we have to have more volunteers, and uh, you know, people have to come out and raise their hand and say, I want to be green, I want to do renewable, and we, we need more solar energy, and I show them with the solar energy. I have my panels out here so, with a little fan over here and see how simple it is. So yeah, it's just uh, do-it-yourself a lot of times, too. What a great fun Earth Day event here at Ian Deutsch Memorial Park. We want to thank everybody who was involved in this. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. Now stay right here. We're going to have more local news right after these messages.